Back in St. Petersburg in the final couple on the ice. Again, coached in Newark, Delaware. Here, Irina Romanova and Igor Yurashenko. steps much more difficult when holding on to your partner when you're by yourself skating it's easier to do the steps when you bring someone else into it and get very close together on the ice that's when it is hard to do as we mentioned Irina Romanova Igor Yaroshenko train in Delaware with Natalia Limchuk and Adi Karpanasov. How unusual to have these three teams from the former, former Soviet Union dancing in the United States. Like so many other Eastern European dance teams, these two married. They've been married since 1992. Well, that performance didn't get me as uh, excited as some of the other free dances that I saw. In fact, I preferred Punzelet and Swallow. And uh, right now, that's not my decision because the judges certainly will decide that. But I thought Jared and Elizabeth had more excitement within their performance. Well, Romanova and Yaroshenko will wait for the reaction of the seven judges. And you can just see the steps holding on to the partner much harder than when by yourself because more chance of a trip. There's Natalia Linichuk.
And the first set of marks. And they go from 5.4 up to 5.6. So... Now we'll check the second marks and see if that will keep them in third place. Oh, these are pretty strong here. The artistic impression. And those marks are sufficient to keep them in front of Elizabeth Bunselin and Jared Swallow of the United States. Oksana Gretschok and Evgeny Platov get the first place ordinals from all seven judges and they win the championship of Centennial on Ice. Krilova and Ovsianikov finish second. Romanova and Yaroshenko are third. A nice, nice showing for the American champions. Elizabeth Punselin and Jared Swallow, they wind up in fourth. And the rest of the list is completed here and the Centennial on Ice in St. Petersburg. The champions, Yevgeny Platov, Oksana Gritchuk, we'll chat with them both when we return right after this. Welcome back to St. Petersburg. The ice dancing results complete now. Gritchuk and Platov win the championship. Krilova and Ovsianikov finish second. Romanova and Yaroshenko win the bronze medal. And a very, very strong showing by the American champions, Elizabeth Punselin and Jared Swallow. Right now, let's go down to Darren Kagan, who's with Oksana, Yevgeny, and Vanya the dog. Thank you, Vern. Yes, with the winning triple here, with the, with the dog, too. Congratulations on your big win to both of you. Thank you so Thank you. much. After winning the 94 gold and then two world championships, it seems like you continually try to set higher and higher standards for yourself. Are you trying to set new standards? What are you trying to prove out there? Yes, of course, we try to prove our technique and artistic impression and uh, bring new style every year. How do you continue to challenge yourself? Challenge? challenge to set to even set the standards higher you've you've reached so many fantastic goals already how do you keep pushing yourself um i, I don't know it's just from it's from inside from my soul and i'm just i don't know it's hard to explain okay you have two world championships already world championships coming up again next month you're looking forward to those in canada of course and gold you want another gold oh yeah <laughs> it's why we continue our career in amateur we have a saying in the United States, three P. When you do something three times in a row, three you're looking. P. Oh, nice. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> three P. That would be nice. Now tell us about Vanya. Vanya is Russian or American dog? Uh, it's American Cocker Spaniel, but he is Russian. He's from Russia, but he was with me for a while in America. Okay, thanks to both of you and congratulations. Thank, Thank you so you. much.